Hey everyone. All right, so another activity we have is for our letter Q, and this becomes our Q tip. Q, Q tip, excuse me. Q tip, trip tip, finger tip painting um, activity that we can do. Okay, so Q tip, tri trip, like triple, Q tip, triple tip. Ooh, that would be a better name. Q-tip, triple-tip, finger-tip painting. Okay, so what do we do? We take our Q-tips. We really just need one or two. Um, but if we're going to use different colors of paint, then we would need multiple. Take our Q-tip. It's a nice way to practice our pincer grass pattern as well, right? So we can practice using our fingers to hold it, right? See if we can come to the middle and bend right in the middle. All right, so a nice way to use our fine motor skills, right? So we can have one or two, okay? And so we can even do as simple as just maintaining a little grasp like this, our, our pin, pincer grasp. Um, when we're doing it, right, just be mindful of are we using our finger pads or our fingertips, okay? So we can practice our fingertip grasp and using this to paint. So I have a little bit of paint here. So for example, say I have a shape like a square. So just maintaining my grasp, remember, with the pads or with tips, seeing if we can use the tips, dip it into that paint, and right, it, it requires a little bit more um, coordination and planning because since there's two sides to our Q-tip, right, we might end up going on both sides. So it requires some motor planning and uh, coordination just to move the hand in a way that is going to make sure that we are keeping both of those sides facing in the right direction, right? It's a good way to talk about directions as well. So we could talk about turning the hand left or turning the hand right, okay? How we're turning it. So, you know, the square is a little bit challenging because there's so many corners. It's a good way to practice also the stop and go. You know, stop at each corner and, and turn, stop and turn, which is helpful for handwriting. If we're doing a shape like a circle, I might need a little bit more. Okay, so we want to keep it open, right? And fingertips. So this is one that we might really need <laughs> some more coordination and planning. And, and so you see, it's pretty challenging. It's pretty tricky. Um, and it's kind of hard to hold it actually with the fingertips, right? I'm, I'm still resorting to that finger pad, but it's just a fun way to do some painting where we really have to plan. It, it just has a, a motor planning component where we have to plan how to turn, what to do um, to try to keep it on the line. Because if we're not keeping it on the line, and that circle's a little bit easier, but you can see that it's still a little bit tricky, right? But because there's two of them, if we don't keep it on the line, then it ends up being a, a double line, which can kind of look like a cool pattern too, actually, keeping it in like a, a double line type of a pattern. Okay, so get some extra paint on there. So it's kind of a cool way to, to do some of this painting, um, right? So it becomes our Q-tip painting, okay? So Q-tip painting, what about the second part? We said Q-tip, triple tip. So what is that? Q-tip, what is a triple tip? Okay, so provided that we can get paint on our fingers, we're doing finger painting, okay? But for finger painting, when we do finger painting, we use our fingertip, or a finger to paint, okay? If you don't wanna get paint on your finger, then you could use a glove, um, or you can use you know, something else to cover the hand, maybe um, putting like plastic wrap on the hand, or on the finger at least, okay? So that it can get paint on it and you know, taping it, right? I, I do have a rubber band that I wanna show you, but I like tape better just because the rubber, hand, the rubber band, we wanna be careful not to over tighten um, you know, to cut off circulation. So that can be dangerous. But 
our Q-tip painting. And let me just add a little more to my square here. And you can hold it as wide as you want to do some different kinds of patterns. So really working on that whoa, motor planning component just to plan how we're going to be painting with it. Um, okay, so that's the Q-tip painting. All right, so what about triple tip? Q-tip, what about our triple tip? So our triple tip becomes finger painting. However, with use of the Q-tips as well to make triple tip. So see how we have our fingertip here? So now we're adding the Q-tips to turn this into a triple tip. So I like to use a little piece of tape and just tape it around. If you wanna use the rubber band, all right, the rubber band, just remember it can cut off the circulation a little bit. So you wanna use the rubber band very loose. So maybe like one, two, three is all that you need. And my finger's a little better, a little bigger, not better, bigger. So, you know, three might be even too much, but look, even here, right, we want to pay attention to our finger, especially if we have some dif differences in how we're processing touch and, and uh, touch sensations, right? We might not even be feeling that it's cutting off circulation, but, you know, we want to really be aware of it. So if it's too tight, then we can just loosen it by taking one off, okay? So it, it really does not have to be too tight. We don't want to lose the Q-tip, but... What we can also do is have this to kind of just hold it in place and just use our thumb to hold the Q-tip. So it's going to have that pincer grasp again, right? And I so use that pincer grasp. And this time we're challenging ourselves because we're not going pad. We're not going tip, right? We're not going finger pad. We're not going fingertip. We're going very low on the finger pad. So even something like this, which is challenging, right? That's a little bit more of like um, using the, the lumber goals actually. So finger, uh, Q-tip painting, triple tip painting ends up being like this. We get one, one, two, three, three tips dipped, right? So our fingertip, I'm sorry, we have our Q-tip, Q-tip painting, this is our triple tip. So what about with another shape? This time a triangle. Okay, so our Q-tip, our triple tip. So let's see how that is. So also a lot of <laughs> coordination and planning. And, and it's actually pretty interesting because, whoa, Right. Once you get the hang of it, you kind of control it. But it's just kind of a way to challenge, um, challenge the brain during the painting as well, so that we're really thinking about what we're doing, how we're turning it. It's kind of an interesting feeling because we're getting the finger painting experience, the the finger in the paint, while also having a, a third tip here, right? Our triple tip. So you know, if if we're tracing shapes, if we're just freestyling then it might look like this, right? So just kind of kind of interesting, interesting kind of feeling, interesting kind of experience. So it becomes our Q-tip triple tip. Right, and if we're just doing um, dots, that could be a fun one too. So maybe we're dotting along something. For example, if we have like a letter of our name, D. Okay, so D, dot along that D, right? Trying to stay on the line. <laughs> so it ends up being a, a funny picture, um, but just kind of a, a cool way of doing painting a little differently. All right, so here I'm getting my fingertip. So it's finger painting, but triple tip. 
okay and that's if you're okay getting your finger a little bit dirty remember it doesn't have to be too tight be very careful not to cut off the circulation um, and get that pincer grass going with the low pad hold okay and you can do some nice dot work or have a, a motor planning component where we're planning how to turn our hand to stay on the line or just doing Not on the line, maybe just a double line when we're painting. And always just have a full Q tip, right? Just for our full Q tip type of painting. And that's also a nice way to practice holding and using the q-tip okay so it becomes our q-tip q-tip triple tip okay fingertip painting so it's finger painting with a twist a q-tip twist <laughs> all right so just kind of a little fun spin on using the q-tip for some painting arts and crafts type of activity Right, and get a, an interesting experience with the triple tip too. Okay, so hope you enjoy. Hope it's helpful and fun. And remember, please don't go too tight. Can always use a piece of tape instead. Right, if you want to try something really fun, if you have enough Q-tips, see if you can get multiple Q-tips on your fingers. Right, so it'll end up looking like this right if you have one uh, taped onto each finger so maybe we're going to end up having all four fingers with q-tips so how would that look it's going to be how many q-tip tips if we have all four fingers right and then we can do finger painting with the whole hand getting involved or on our thumb too open and close right so really working on using all of our fingers to do some painting right opening and closing okay so some fun ways to do some painting with our q-tips all right hope you enjoy our q-tip triple tip fingertip painting all right thank you everyone be well and just wanted to add one thing to the q-tip triple tip fingertip is that if we take three q-tips and fold them in half Okay, we end up having a six tip. Okay, so with our six tip, we can dip that into some paint. All right, and this becomes a very interesting painting experience because it's working actually a lot on our in hand manipulation. So, trying to draw with this, right, we have to twist it and move it. And so we, we're using a lot more of our fingers. Our fingers have to stabilize, manipulate, to try to do our drawing, right? So we can either just do some freestyle drawing with our six tip, multi tip, right? It has a cool look to it, to our picture, okay? Or if we're drawing a letter, like the letter of our name, this is a left hand and upside down then it's just an interesting way to try to maneuver that pencil, right? Also that motor planning and just, you know, just turning and manipulating within our fingers is a nice way, trying to keep it all together, really, right? We're, we're trying to keep it all together. Um, and even if it breaks apart, we can have different fingers painting together to fill it in, right? But trying to keep it all within one hand, one finger, Right? It's just a nice way to really use that pincer grasp, um, but as well as those manipulation skills, trying to move it, manipulate it. And it's tricky. It's not so easy to use, um, but it's a nice way to test and challenge our skills for a nice, beautiful picture. <laughs> All right. So hope you enjoy. Thank you so much. And good luck. Hope you like it.